I had this brilliant idea that I bookmarked for many years now, and that is to visit the abandoned Six Flags. Oh, there we go. Come on. What's that? Good morning, Wieners. Woke up bright and breezy at the Comfort and Suites. We uh, got here midday yesterday because I decided to buy another boat, something that I probably shouldn't have bought, but I figured it would be amazing for content. Here she is. But we had an extra day here. I had this brilliant idea that I'd bookmarked for many years now, and that is to visit the abandoned Six Flags that got completely desolated by Hurricane Katrina. I believe it was in 2005. I wouldn't recommend doing what we're about to do today, but I wanna see it for myself. I've seen some videos of this place. It's absolutely incredible. It's a basically amusement park, Six Flags to be specific, caught and lost in time. Nature has completely claimed this park, but I thought it would be interesting rather than just to go in and, and, and take some video of it, uh, to try to catch a fish out of this abandoned Six Flags. There are some ponds and it looks like there's some water in there. I mean, this place was completely underwater. So, a couple of things. We're gonna try to catch fish today. We're gonna try to film a heater for you guys. And most importantly, we're gonna try not to go to jail. vehicles wow dude that's crazy it's like a time capsule stuck in what's that let's go let's get down low towards the fence I bet they have sensors on the fence maybe we also too by the way have no idea if there's even fish in here but oh big snake seeing as there's uh Seeing as this place was completely underwater, I don't see why there couldn't be fish lurking around. We're here, we've made it. This is pretty insane. I've seen videos of people actually going, and I don't think we're gonna do that today. We're just on the edge. Uh, technically, we're not supposed to be here, but we're not taking anything, we're not vandalizing anything. We're just here to maybe catch a fish out of this. My big concern, though, is I think the bank is too overgrown. Like, there's no way for me to even get down there and take a cast, unless I wanna get swallowed up by an alligator. Damn. It looks good though, I bet you anything there's fish down there. I don't know how I'm getting my frog back, but I could try it. One cast, just to say I've done it. Okay, I might be able to reach that. Oh yeah. It hit the water. <laughs> well, we officially fished it. <laughs> There's a little bit of water I can just barely reach. You know, a cast in there. Back left corner? I know, I'm trying. Oh yeah, no. there's fish in here for sure. At first I didn't think so, but just looking at it now, like there's definitely fish in here. you imagine? <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Hang on, I'm not done yet. The wind's kind of screwy too. No, not happening. Well, there's some canals that kind of lead into this too. We might go fish. At least you guys can still get a glimpse at the abandoned Six Flags on the outskirts. Damn, that's so cool though. Oh, how cool would it be to catch a fish in there, man? 
Like I, I can, I have the ability to just go about anywhere and fish, but for whatever reason, I want to fish in there so badly. I don't know if it's worth worth the risk though. Yeah, they definitely have. The thing is, all that guy has to do is turn around and come right towards us. See if maybe he comes. Oh yeah, right there. We'll get a video of that. So it looks like it's pointing that way. That way. So I wonder if there's a beam. Yeah. It's, is it a cellular? It. Is, it, is it cellular? Yeah. So there's one there. Oh, Caleb on the edge again. We're just taking one more look. And uh, this is how they catch people. Oh, there he is right there. Get ready to switch SDs. How you doing? Oh yeah, sorry about that. We were just taking a look. We were... Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay, gotcha. What's that? Oh, sorry about it. We, just, we were looking for a place to fish. Is there any way around here we can fish? We were, we were anywhere around here. We were just looking on We were the walking the highway. We're trying to find like little canals that lead. We're from, oh, we're we have a YouTube channel. Fishing. Yeah. We're not running away or anything, man. We're just we're literally just looking. If you want us out of here, we'll just leave. What's that? Where y'all from? Oh, walking, oh yeah, we walked, we parked in like some neighborhood around there. We're just looking for like little canals and such. We'll get out you here, Brent. We're not trying to cause any problems. We're literally just looking for some like urban fishing spots. That's it. Leave, man. All right, cool. Do you know anywhere around here that we can? Nowhere no around, around here. All right. I'll let you carry out and gotcha. You on the Appreciate you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Man. So they spotted us before. Yeah. That's what we found. Yeah. Okay. Did the audio? Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's the about that's about the extent of our fishing at the abandoned Six Flags. We did get busted. If we're speaking in technical terms, we did manage to fish the abandoned Six Flags. I took like five casts, it hit the water. If there is anyone watching this video, anyone that can give us permission to fish that place. Or Disney. Or Disney, because we want to fish Disney World so bad in Florida. Shoot me an email or DM me on my Instagram. I am a very respectful person. We are out here just documenting interesting things. We're not trying to promote these kind of activities. I just want to bring the experience at home to other people. When we were asked to leave, we left and we told them the truth. We were there just fishing. We're not tagging. We're not out there to climb the rides. We didn't want to do anything dangerous. It's about the only dangerous thing that we probably could have come across as an alligator. Apparently there's tons of alligators in there. Regardless, we managed to fish it, but I, it's not good enough. I don't feel fulfilled, obviously. That's a tough mission. I've been on some pretty interesting, you know, like not so legal fishing missions. And that's probably like a level hardcore. Anyway, we're not giving up. We're gonna go find some more urban ponds. See if we can hitch a ride from a semi. Oh, we just took our second ride back. Uh, we hitch hitchhiked a really friendly trucker who's super kind. We are where we started, unfortunately. We got close, but not close enough. The good thing is though, is we are surrounded by water. I know it may not look like it, but hidden in between these little strip malls and these small restaurants is some juicy ponds. Hopefully, I don't know if there's fish living in them, but there's only one way to find out, and that is to make some casts. Got him, he's got him. Which one do you think? Oh, there's two. How's it going? Yeah. Thanks, man, what's your name? Uh, well, we picked up, I don't know, did you drive from over there? We picked up like this giant like watercraft looking thing. It's like a water bug. Okay. So we drove all the way to pick it up and we're bringing it back to Texas. But we're just gonna fish some ponds around here just for fun. Cool, but have you ever fished any of this stuff or? Never. No, nope. no. I do some golf course ponds over there and stuff, but that's kind of it. But cool. Cool to 
to meet you, man. Hey, man, have a good one. Yeah, Take too. care. Yeah. Ooh, it's really clean. Hang on. Oh, what was that? Oh my God. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I didn't realize this, but these ponds are actually connected to the ocean because we just saw a mullet. Really? We just saw a mullet jumping in this little pond. This may look small, but they're all connected. Like there's this pond that connects to another one that connects to another one. And uh, Caleb actually dipped his finger and tasted it. Risky guy. And uh, he said that it's very salty. Clearly there's fish coming in from the ocean. Could be bass in here too, I don't know. I doubt we'll find any redfish in here, but if there were in here, then they probably could be pretty easy to spot out. Oh, there we go, come on. Good fish, good fish, there we go. There we go, baby. What is it, a large mouth? Largey. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, can't come to Louisiana without doing a bit of roadside canal fishing. That was so sick, dude. Look where we're fishing. This is a ditch, like a literal ditch. And what's crazy is it's brackish water. I'm, there's not too many places where you can find brackish water right next to a busy parking lot. That's a nice fish, too. I'm so happy we got one. You know, this wasn't the intended purpose of this trip, but I figured we'd make the most out of this experience while we're in probably one of my favorite states ever. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about Louisiana, but one thing that is undeniable is the fishing is unreal. No matter if you're out there on the coast, in the marsh, or if you're doing a bit of urban roadside fishing. Nice bass. That was so cool, dude. He hammered it too, that's a good sign. It's nice and sunny out, so these fish should be active. Oh, there she goes. All right, later, bubba. That was so dirty, you put it there. Mission accomplished. We still caught a fish today. Other than the abandoned Six Flags, doing this is the move. He hammered it. Let's see if we can get another. I thought it was a redfish the way he ate it. I was like, that's a little red. He just pummeled the damn thing. Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. There's one right. Oh my God, what is that? What is that right in front of you? It's a red. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a, right it's a bowfin. Right here? It's a redfish. Is it? It's a bowfin. No, it's positive. It's a thick head. It's the biggest bowfin I've ever seen. It is, it's a bowfin. Oh, it's spooked. Holy sh**. Dude, it's a big bowfin. I really think it was a red. Really? Whatever. We just saw something big. I have no idea what it was. It could have been a redfish. Could have been a bowfin. It was large though. We just spooked him. I wish I'd have made a cast there. He was right. He was looking at the bank. Oh my god! That was so sick. I don't know what it was. It crushed me though. Absolutely annihilated little swim. Absolutely annihilated the little saucy swimmer. That was so sick. If I could fish one specific lure in ponds like this like these southern urban ponds it would probably be a close tie between like the little saucy swimmer on just a weighted swim bait hook like the 3.3 inch size a lot of guys like throwing the big stuff i like throwing little saucy swimmers because a lot of the bait that's in these retention ponds is tiny minnows like tiny bait fish uh, the second lure i'd probably throw on this same swim bait hook is a blazing worm anything that i can kind of hop burn fish slow fish fast it's gonna be the move. Also, a frog is great, but when it gets a little cooler, those fish tend to stay at the bottom. They're not really looking for anything on the surface. They're more or less chasing bait, pushing little minnows to the bank, things of that nature. Stick to the simple stuff. Moving baits is always good. You wanna cover water. A wacky worm is also nice, like a wacky worm lunker lug, that's great, but I like something that I can jump around with, you know, something I can move fast. And I can roll, slow roll this swim bait too and get some of those more timid, lethargic fish to eat. Straight braid, either like 40 or 50 pound test, depending on the cover. Don't really mess around with floral because it, you know it's messy in this in this kind of nasty water. It tends to take on a color, and also too, if you're trying to winch them out of the heavy stuff, then it becomes difficult. Even with 20 pound floral, it's my setup. Nice, like decent rod, like a seven three Guggen or a seven foot go to. I also leave all of the gear that we're using today linked down below. If you guys want to check out any of these lures, go to GuggenSquad.com. Use my code John B and save 10% off your order. I know I'm having to scream over these, these semis and 18 wheelers, but you get the gist. Another one, little guy, little largey. Just a wee little dude. Absolutely choked the sauce remember though, man. They are hungry in here. See you, buddy. Thanks for playing.
little guy. Ooh. Made a little adjustment. I really didn't, I really underestimated the uh, clarity of this water. It's very dirty. It's stained too. That's what happens when you get that salt and fresh water mix. So I switched to something with a little more vibration. Still got the sauce femur on there, but just with some skirts and a blade. Literally second cast with it, caught a fish. Unbelievable. Also, I didn't realize how shallow this canal is. It's probably like two feet all the way across and you've got fish just thriving in here. Like that bass is borderline perfect. And he's living in this. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Come on, buddy. Bing bong. That's it. We did it. Wainers, I would have to say that today's mission was a success. I want to reiterate too, if any of you guys have any information as to how we can figure out a method of filming and fishing the abandoned Six Flags, drop a comment or actually, matter of fact, email me or DM me on the gram. Technically, I guess we, we fished it today, but it wasn't good enough in my opinion. But regardless, we fished around this urban setting and caught some pretty nice bass, one of which I'm not sure it was on camera, but regardless, you guys get to see him. So cool, like, I don't know what it is about me, it's in my blood, but I enjoy almost as much, if not maybe a little bit more fishing places where I'm not supposed to fish, in other words, urban spots, opposed to like a big reservoir or a crystal clear lake that you'd find in Northern Maine or a reservoir in Texas. There's just something so cool and rewarding about catching fish out of a freaking ditch. Also too, to reiterate, don't forget, we got this. This contraption, this disaster of a boat, it, uh, it's hilarious. I'm excited to be, I'm excited to be the proud owner of this abomination, and I think you guys will appreciate it as well. But anyway, we are peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another urban fishing mission. We'll catch you in the next one. As always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.